us, I, I don't think, were consciously trying to define anything or break anything. They just wanted to make a record that they felt was the heaviest, most, um, you know, um, aggressive thing they could make and and uh, probably to satisfy their fans because they, they had s seen their fans around the world for a year and they knew what people wanted. And I think they were just reflecting that. You know, we probably knew we were making a good record, um, but we're sitting in a little studio in Arlington, Texas, extremely isolated from the business, from everything else. We were doing things, you know, in their backyard. You know, everything was, was pretty much, you know, isolated from everybody else. So it's really hard to, to, to think at the time that we were doing anything earth shattering or anything, you know, anything beyond just making what we thought was going to be a really good record. Um, you constantly have doubts when you're making a record, whether it's good, good enough, whatever. Um, we knew it was good. Um, we hoped it was good enough, but it took time to realize, uh, you know, how it was going to stand up over time. And, uh, um, Again, I remember a call from Dime a year after we make, made the record, and he was talking about how much work it was and how he felt it was every bit of it was worthwhile. Once again, every decision made was for the fans. How would the fans react? What would the fans like? Let's not do this because the fans would not want, you know, they, they wanted to please the people that, that were buying their music and, and liked what they did. They didn't want to stretch out, change too much because... Um, because it was fans first for them.